Good evening all, uh, this is Ross Mitchell, um, just showing this LTO uh, BMS that I've just actually roughly wired in, I've got no main battery terminals on it, so um, it's only just running off the actual uh, batteries themselves, not the main current. As you can see here, it is a um, 22S 48 volt, 200 amps, uh, top BMS, and this is the display. That I bought with it and at the moment I haven't touched any settings so uh, you'll probably find that it's not quite right it says state of charge uh, 50% your uh, minimum voltage uh, 2.365 maximum volt 2428 um, it says I've got 22 cells some of all the voltage is 52.5 doesn't show any current because of the uh, I haven't hooked up the main battery terminals but if we uh, we click uh, next page that'll show you the popular populating the all the 22 cells it is a uh, little temperature uh, it has a, a temperature sensor on it and that shows you each individual cell. We'll go into the next page, and that looks like the settings page. Discharge charge, 300 amps, it's, even though it's only rated at 200 amps. Cell high, cell low, uh, um, danger points, when it's too high, too low. Temperature sensor, state of charge, 50%. Uh, rated capacity, that's not really right. Uh, balance balancing comes in at 2.4 volts at 50 milliamps. Uh, you can actually see the battery type is Titanate manufacture date. That's all yet to be set. So if you if you look at all that, it says set uh, little buttons. But uh, I shall uh, play around. So I thought I'd give you a bit of a bit of an update on the setup. It also comes with a little Bluetooth device that plugs into the same port as the UART. So you can either have the display or you can actually have the Bluetooth device that actually works on the mobile phone. Uh, it's got a 4, uh, 8 follow port, uh, light port, I'm not quite sure. That's the um, temperature center, NTC. Um, yeah, so uh, just give it a quick little um, rundown.